Hey guys, Eddie the Magic Monk here. As you guys know, I've made the Algebra Lesson 1 video for probably over three years now, and um, I get the same question all the time. Uh, and basically, it comes from the last example in the lesson where I sort of try to probably extend people a bit too much, and basically, I ask you guys to use a technique that I don't actually go through until the second lesson. Okay, so if you wanted to, you can probably just watch the second lesson um, and then come back to the first lesson and see if it helps you understand it. If not, then um, I can, I'm can. i just going to explain it right now anyway. Um, so if you want to just watch through this video, that's fine as well. So the question is... We have 30 divided by x is equal to 5. And we want to find out what x is. Okay, and this guy here, uh, Napoleon Gray, one of my um, subscribers, I'm guessing, maybe not, said um, they were a bit confused by my last example. 30 divided by x equals 5. If you bring 30 over. Now, this statement, okay, if you bring something over, you will only do that if you fully understand why you can bring it over. So basically in maths, you don't do anything. Okay, you don't do anything if you don't understand why. So what does it mean if I bring 30 over, right? Why can I do that? So if you don't know why you can do that, don't do it yet. Okay, so before we get into bringing things to the other side, what you need to understand is a technique called balancing equations. Okay, you don't bring anything anywhere until you fully understand what balancing equation means. Balancing equations means that the equal sign basically acts as a, uh, I guess you call it a scale, a balanced scale. So let's say I have a scale with uh, two plates, okay, and um, I put some stuff on one side, and for the two plates to be in equilibrium, both sides have to have the same thing. So the equal sign kind of acts as the scale, right? Whatever you put on the left hand side, however much that weighs, the right hand side has to have the same weight. So, in other words, what that means is if you take off some stuff from the left, okay, let's say I take off a couple of these rocks, right? I grab this with my hand and I take it out. Now, what does that mean? That means the scale will become unbalanced and it's going to tilt. So, in order for it to remain balanced, you have to take the same way off the other side. Okay, so that's one scenario. So basically, I'm trying to illustrate that we have 30 divided by x equals 5. Okay, whatever you do, you're going to do it to both sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by x. Okay, so I'm going to copy both sides down first. So I'm copying it down. And then I'm going to now multiply both sides by x. Okay, remember you can do whatever you want as long as you do it to both sides, which I have done. Okay, I've multiplied by x on the left, and I have multiplied by x on the right. So this equation will remain equal. Okay, in the case of a balanced scale, it's going to remain balanced. So now, what is the effect of me doing this? So, if you, do, if you do 5 times x, what you effectively have is just 5x, right? Because um, I, I can't remember if I mentioned this in Algebra Lesson 1. That's why I'm asking you guys to do Lesson 2 first. But in Algebra, when you write times, you don't have to write the symbol. Okay, if you just write, for example, x, y, z, it means the same thing as x times y times z. But the reason why we don't write times is because 
people get confused between the time symbol and the x symbol so it's easier to just write them next to each other and assume it's times because if you do x plus y plus z then we know that you're adding but if you just write x y z it means you're multiplying okay so 5x is equal to now 30 divided by x times x now here's where you guys need to understand a simple mathematical um, uh, I guess phenomenon and that is if you take any number let's say 40 okay you get 40 now let's say you divide it by a number it doesn't matter what number you choose here okay you can choose whatever number you want if you divide by a number and then times by the same number that you just chose to divide by so let's say you choose 14 here and then you times by 14 straight away what is the answer the answer is still 40 okay whatever number you put here so let's say I put 500 divided by 14 times 14 you're gonna get 500 right so what that means is if you divide by something and then multiply it by that same thing again the effects will cancel each other out so that's what's happened here we multiply by x here so divided by x and times by x cancel each other out so now we're left with 30 equals 5x okay and then now what I'm gonna do is now I'm going to divide both sides by x uh, sorry I'm gonna divide both sides by 5 okay because if I divide both sides by x, I go back to where I was before. So I'm going to divide both sides by 5. And now what's going to happen is 30 divided by 5 is going to equal 6. 5 divided by 5 is going to equal 1. So I'm left with 1x on the right. Now 1x is just x, so you don't even have to write the 1. So it's x equals 6. Now usually we put the x on the left and what it equals on the right. Um, so yeah, you, you should be able to understand why you can do that. Okay, so what I'm saying is basically watch Algebra Lesson 2 and 3. Okay, and basically 1, 2, and 3 acts as a whole lesson. So uh, I probably should have explained that earlier. That's why a lot of people are confused. So watch Algebra Lesson 1, watch Algebra Lesson 2, watch Algebra Lesson 3 and then come back and ask a question in lesson one if you still have trouble. Okay, thanks for watching guys, see you next time.